Hi there everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a Redmine on a Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, just to do a quick recap, uh, Redmine is a free and open source web-based uh, project management and issue tracking tool. I'm pretty sure you know what Redmine does and its capacity, so let's get started. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a brand new uh, server setup on uh, DigitalOcean. Uh, you need an account to do that, by the way, but anyway, uh, it's very cheap. But nevertheless, I'm going to create a server in DigitalOcean. They call it a droplet. Um, I'm going to install on Ubuntu 20.04, right? That's 64 uh, LTS, basic, uh, regular Intel. I'm going to go with the cheapest option just for a demonstration on this YouTube here. So I'm going to scroll down a bit more. Uh, my nearest biggest city is San Francisco. I'm going to just leave it as they are. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, going to be a authentication will be a password base. And I'm going to assign a root password here. There you go. And once you're done, let's create a drop droplet. So what it does is that it goes around and uh, creates a new uh, virtual machine, I guess, for like a better word, a VPS, uh, virtual private server for me. And we'll wait for it. All right, once the server is created, so this is my IP address uh, to this machine here. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to close this for now. So I'm going to launch a PuTTY. Uh, PuTTY is a free software. You can actually go download it. And take the IP address slapped in here. Make sure it's SSH. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the font size so that uh, you can see my whatever I'm typing on the screen better. So uh, username will be root, and password will be whatever I assigned just now. Okay, you're logged in. I'm going to clear my screen and make the whole uh, SSH session a bit larger here. So the first thing I want to do would be to update the OS. And then I'm going to upgrade apply an upgrade to the libraries and any of the packages out there using the sudo apt upgrade. Okay, once that is done, I normally like to reboot my server by using sudo reboot. And when I do that, I obviously lose connection because uh, I basically power cycling my server there. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to dial into putty again using the IP address. Close this session here, launch a putty, put the IP address here, SSH again. I'm going to make this font bigger again so that you can see it. Open. Make this larger. I'm in there again. Now let's install the uh, database server. I'm going to use uh, Maria DB. This is how you do it. Okay, once you have the SQL Server installed, you want to test it by using sudo mysql on the dash u as in root. Let's log in as root for now. You should come up with uh, this kind of screen, which is your database server, which means your database has been installed correctly. To close this out of this, you just say quit. Clean my database here. Now, what we're going to do next is to create a Redmine user so that uh, the system user so that Redmine can populate this database. In order to run that, you do sudo mysql u root p. This is going to prompt you for the root password. This is the same password that you use when you create it, when you, uh, when you create this session using DigitalOcean. It's a system password anyways. So the first SQL command that you'll be using would be a create database redmine character set default. So it creates a database called redmine. And then the next thing you're going to have to do is to uh, create a user using this command. So at this section here, Redmine password, you can 
enter whatever password you want. So for this uh, discussion, I'm going to say X, Y, Z, one, three, eight. Okay. Make sure you write that thing somewhere. And of course, once you create that user, you're going to have to flush it. Uh, P R I V I L E G S privileges. Once that's done, make sure you get a uh, query okay every time you run. Hey, that, that indicates that uh, your query ran perfectly and there was no issues. So after that, let's close this session. I'm gonna clear up. So the next thing you have to do is to test and make sure that you you do have Redmine database in your system here. So in order to do that, you do my SQL dash u and this time around let's log in with the uh, redmine user that we just created a few moments ago they're going to prompt you for a password so it's going to was xyz38 and then you should come in here so and you do show databases with the s semicolon you should see your redmine database in here so your database is installed and you have created a new database for redmine you are all happy you're going to have to quit this and close it the next thing we're going to have to do is to install an Apache server. So let me clear this up here. You know how to install Apache server? This is the command that you use. sudo app install Apache. This is a typical Apache command that you use with passenger. So we're just going to let it run for a bit. So at this instance, your Apache uh, web server is installed on that machine there. Just to test the Apache web server, you take the IP address of the Ubuntu server and hit enter. And you should come up with Apache Ubuntu default web page. It's a typical Apache uh, web server page to indicate that the Apache web server is functional. Another way to test would be if you type sudo system ctrl system control say status Apache 2 services. You should see a green text showing active and running. So that's another way to check whether your Apache server has been running. That this is without using the uh, browser. Okay, once the Apache has been installed, uh, we're gonna have to install the Redmine. In order to re install Redmine, you're gonna have to run this command, sudo app install Redmine, hit enter. On this section here, just select yes. And then this is the password that you created when you create the uh, user just now. And it was XYZ888 for my demonstration here. So hit OK. And you enter XYZ888 again. So next thing you have to do is update the gem tool on that uh, red mine. And this is how you do it. Sudo gem update. You hit enter. Okay, the gem is updated now, so I'm going to install the gem bundler. And this is a command to install the gem bundler. Okay, the next thing we want to do would be to configure the Apache passenger module. You can use any text editor. I'm going to use a nano. This is the command to use, sudo nano, and this is directly where the passenger.config file is stored. You hit enter, nano will open for me here. So what you have to do is you have to insert configuration command here like that passenger default user ww minus or dash data so once that's done you press ctrl x to exit and they'll ask you do you want to save the module so say yes and you say override it just to double check you can actually go back in again now yeah, you should see the passenger default user has ww dash data still there ctrl x to exit again so next thing i want to do is to create a symbolic link to connect uh, Redmine to the uh, web document space. Uh, in order to do that would be to run this command here. I'll leave all this command on the comment section there. Next thing we want to do would be uh, set up the uh, console domain name. I'm going to use nano again, and we're going to change the redmine.conf file and in this directory here. So hit enter. And what we're going to do is uh, you're going to have to enter a series of configuration. Again, I'll leave this command on or this configuration on the comment section. Do check it out. So over here, what you have to change is this one here. Red mine passwords, which is XYZ888. And this server name would be the IP address of the uh, of the sandbox that uh, we were dealing with. Let me bring back uh, digital ocean here again. So this IP address is what we are after. So I'm going to close this guy here. 
and I'm going to paste it in here. That's the server name where all this is happening and all this SSH shell script is happening. So once that's done, again, uh, you're going to have to change this one here and you're going to have to change that one there. Everything else, you leave it as it is. This is the default directory that you have to go to afterwards. But we'll get to that shortly here. But once that's done, again, press Control X on Nano to exit. And they say save buffer module. Yes. All right. Yes. Again, I always like to go back and check, make sure the configuration is written. Go back in here. Make sure IP address and your password is correct. Control X again to close it. Okay, the next set of commands to create and set the ownership of the gem log file so that the www.data user on the Apache web server can access it, the, the one just created. So uh, in order to issue that command would be this one here. You just say touch gem log and then you do a change of ownership to that www.data. So that's how you change the owner. And the last thing you have to do would be to enable the Redmine website on the uh, Apache server. And in order to do that would be this command here. So next thing you have to do is to restart your Apache server. In order to restart your Apache server, sudo, again, the system, ctl, restart Apache to service. What it does is that it restarts the thing. If there's any issues with the configuration file, you'll get the error message. Uh, in order to check the status, you change the reset to status. Hit enter, you should see a green active and running. So the Apache server has restarted. The next thing you have to do, uh, open your web browser. And what you're going to do is gonna, you're going to have to uh, take the IP address on that uh, digital ocean server that you were working on. And you do slash redmine. And you should come up with a redmine web page now. This shows that uh, your redmine is successfully installed. Click on sign in, login, default user is admin, password is admin, login, and they'll prompt you to change the password this time around. So I'm just going to give this admin, and the password is say admin1, admin1, and hit apply. I guess too short, I didn't like it. So admin, maybe something different. And hit apply. Once your password is changed, and uh, I guess you're off the races now, uh, you can look at your projects, you know, you can uh, activities, spend time, Gantt chart, calendar, I guess, issues, and all that, I guess. Yeah, that's what Redmine does. It's a project management tool with Gantt chart and all that jazz, and you can also put issue lists and, and whatnot. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helps. Other than that, you have some awesome day. You take care. Bye.